Aiden, just, uh, just a heads up. We're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how you run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no. I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. Sure. See you at the debrief. Uh, hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sport Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as Hang if on they... two seconds, Matt. OK, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary.
OK, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps.
Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 27.2 seconds. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Great manoeuvre, you made it look so easy. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport has struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammate. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Well, a good race out there again today, Aidan. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect? It's Devon. He was out of order out there. Uh, he really needs to rein it in. He's not the only one driving. I'm sure the team will have a lot to say about it. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson-Butler rivalry is well and truly back? No, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're, we're so focused on making Connors a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Uh, yeah, I think so. I did everything I could today and, you know, the car performed really well. Uh, I think I found some good pace and, uh, yeah, forgetting any other hiccups, I think the team will be happy. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sport's not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you?
Well, yeah, there was, there was no issues this race, um, so things are definitely looking up in that regard. Uh, I'm confident the team have got it in hand, and today proved it. There's always room for improvement, but little by little, step by step. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with a team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. A shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. Oh, Devon. <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat it. Could you take a look at this, please? Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. 